In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite route combinations out of the Trips Tight End Offensive Playbook. And really, this is going to center in on one specific route that I believe is going to pick up in a lot of popularity across a lot of different types of Trips Tight Ends and strategies uh, for how they're going to use it. So, uh, with that being said, if you've never been to the channel before, my name is Cody, and what my channel is all about is becoming a better Madden player. We're trying to become a better player. And so if you want to become a better player alongside of me and learn from some of the things that I'm learning from, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, I released an ebook about uh, almost two months ago, I guess now, on the New England Patriots offense. And I think it's the best playbook in the entire game. Now, the primary formation that we talk about in there, we talk about a couple, several formations, but one of the ones that we spend a lot of time on is the trips tied in. And I want to give you this setup today out of the Devils in Sale. The Devils in Sale is one of those plays that I felt like didn't get a great, um, I mean, it was good, but it wasn't great in the ebook. Now it's getting ready to get great. Okay, and I want to break down why, as to why that is. First and foremost, you can smart route both of these corner routes, especially if you're in a first and 10 situation. And as you can see, it's going to make them go super, super sharp with those sharp cuts. The reason that matters is against man-to-man -man coverage, and again, I don't have the best route running in the game, but against man-to-man -man coverage here, what you should see is you should see this, this, this route gets separation. As long as the quarterback can get the ball out there, um, this route does get clear separation. Hard pass lead to the right, and as you can see, it gets open, and it gets open on the left side as well. Now, the left side corner is not as good, uh, getting open because he gets a little bit of a jam you see that right there but as you can see right there he gets wide open against that that corner okay but the real secret to this um, the real secret to this offense is what this can do for you against zone coverage so I have my purple zone set at about 25 yards and what you're gonna notice here is if I just simply take Evans and put him on a fade route and then I can do whatever I really want with Antonio Brown. What I'm going to do right now is put him on a little flat route. What you'll notice here is there is so much room on the sideline to hit this route to Chris Godwin. Now, another little trick that you can do with this is because there's a lot of people are really falling in love with the seam flat zone. Um, the slot streaks really help clear out a lot of room for corner routes. So what you could do is you could do something like this where essentially you motion Mike Evans over on a drag route, streak Antonio Brown, and now you'll see the movement here is going to give me a lot more room. Look how much more open this route is on the sideline. That's cover three Mabel. That's straight up cover three Mabel that is doing that. I'll show you again here. Take a look at these. Take a look at the zones I have on the field. I have two zones to the left side that are designed to stop this, right? But it's not going to stop it. And the reason why is because of how powerful... Um, not only the smart route of that route is, but also how powerful the slot streak has truly become in Madden 21. It's the best pull route in the entire game. Look at that. It takes three defenders with it up the seam, and now you have so much grass to be able to throw this corner route in behind it. Now, you might be asking, well, how does this work against cover two, against all the co other coverages that people are going to run? What are the adjustments going to be, and how are they going to stop this? Well, the... The next thing that people are going to do to this this play right here is they're going to use some type of Tampa 2. It's almost guaranteed that you're going to see that. But again, what you're going to notice here is it's an easy pass lead up into the outside. And as you can see, it absolutely torches that zone coverage. Now, again, if you want to get the full ebook on this, it doesn't just show you how to run this play. It shows you how to run other plays as well as an entire scheme from the Patriots playbook that shows you how to run every single formation in it. That link is in the description of this video. But as you can see, that corner route is absolutely insane. Now, the, the best defense that I've seen, um, the, the best defense that I have seen is the cover four uh, for this. But what you'll notice is because you're from a trips tight end for, formation, you see that that outside quarter is going to come over the top of him. This is going to, again, leave all this grass on the outside for you to be able to hit uh, Chris Godwin. Now, right there, I missed, messed it up and didn't hit him. But again, I just want you to kind of watch how this literally will be every single outside zone in the entire game. The zone drops don't do much better. And again, as long as he has a little bit of time here, you're going to see outside quarter does absolutely nothing. Um, he does come off right there, um, does a good job right there. Now, what I need to do 
is to go ahead and I motion the wrong guy I think on that one so I need to motion the right guy and again you want to make sure that you're streaking and then you make sure that there's that smart route but see how they come into this kind of almost bunch type uh, little compression gives me a lot of room a lot of room a lot of room hard left passing that's what we're looking for as you see right there the outside quarter does not take it the outside quarter does not take it to me that is huge that is incredible there's really no zone in the entire game that is going to do a good job against this route combo right here. This is a post-patch uh, route combo that is just super, super hard to stop in zone coverage. If they're running zone coverage, it's this left side pass is always, always, always going to be open. And so what's really cool about trips tight end is you actually have it on both sides. You can basically do the same exact thing on the left side. So the bench, in my opinion, the best concept in Madden 21 right now is this concept right here. These bench concepts really is what they are. Um, these corner routes are so hard to stop and they attack the outside sidelines which is a huge huge benefit. So anyways doubles in sale in my opinion it might be the best play in trips tight end right now. It's definitely going to be the new meta. A lot of you're going to notice a lot of people are going to use this um, in their offensive game plan. So uh, I use this from Bunch Tight End as well. I just released a new ebook on that. If you want to get that in the description, it's in there. But also, you can do the same concept from our Trips Tight End ebook, which you can pick up in the description as well. That's the New England ebook. Gives you the full everything, more even more than just Trips Tight End. It's U Trips, it's Bunch, it's A Slot. It's it's literally everything you can do from New England. So. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, you can always text me. My number will be in the description of this video. But just a quick reminder before we take off. Number one, we'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock right here on YouTube if you want to come by and hang out. And then number two, if you want to get the full Trips Tight End and New England Offensive ebook, that link is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys uh, on tonight's stream.